Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about variables and we are going to understand what variables are and uh, how we can use them in our C programs. So this program is going to be very, very, very basic and we're just going to create two variables, assign values to them and then add those values and display the result on screen, right? So it's, you know, again, going to be very short and simple. So just stick with me and you will know what we are going to do and how we're going to do what we're going to do. So I've already done a bit of work on my own. I have saved this file in the C program files folder on my desktop. I've given it the name variables. Now, as you can see, it has the extension dot C, right? So it's a C program file. And on line one, I have my hash include directive with the name of the header file. On line two, I have the main function declaration and uh, then I have the curly braces and as I said in the previous uh, tutorial that whatever code you want to be executed in your C programs you have to put the code between the curly braces that are followed by the you know main function keyword right so what we're going to do is we're going to create two variables the first one I'm going to call a the second one I'm going to call b and both these are going to be integers right so they can take values like uh, 5 or 15 or 25 or 100 or you know negative 35 or negative uh, 80 you know so they can take uh, whole number values so i'd have to instruct the compiler that you know these variables can take just integer values and the way i'm going to do that is by typing in the keyword int right so this is something that you haven't seen before maybe we haven't seen it in this course at least and then you have to follow that up with a space and then type in the names of your variables. So we need two variables. So the first one's called A, so I'll type in A. And the second one is B, but then I'll have to separate the variable names uh, with the comma symbol. So I'll put a comma, then you can put a space if you want to enhance the readability of your program. It's not necessary, but C is white space insensitive. So you can type in as many space characters uh, wherever you want in your program, right? and uh, then type in the name of the other variable which is b and since this is an executable statement we'll have to terminate it with a semicolon on line 5 i'm going to assign a value to my first variable and the way i do that is by typing in the name of the variable which is a and then i'll follow that up with uh with the equal to symbol and then assign the variable value by just typing in the value so if i want a to hold 5 i'll just type in 5 and since this is also an executable statement, I'll have to put a semicolon. On line six, I'm gonna assign B the value 20. So B equals 20. And I'll put a semicolon because this again is an executable statement. And uh, now I am going to add these two values and display the result on screen. And you know, in the last tutorial, we used the printf function to you know display stuff on screen, and that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial. So I'll type in P R I N T F. And, uh, you know, the parentheses, of course, have to go in there because printf is a function. And, uh, you know, if you guys remember, we, you know, put some text within double quotation marks and the text was displayed as is on screen, right? So again, we'll have to put in a pair of double quotation marks here. And uh, we want to know what we are actually displaying on screen. So let's display a plus b equal to, you know, let's just display this first and then display the values that we know what we've actually done, right? And, uh, you know, since we want to display an integer result on screen, we'll have to instruct the printf function that, you know, you have to, you know, display an integer value. And the way we do that is by using the percentage D format specifier. So this is again, something that is, uh, you know, could be new to you guys. And uh, percentage D is basically, you know, a placeholder for the function to know that in place of percentage D, you have to display an integer value. And the value, of course, is going to be determined with the, the addition operator. And, uh, you know, you have to compute the value separately that is outside the second quotation mark. So you put a comma outside the double, second double quotation mark and you just compute the value by typing in A plus B, right? And since this is also an executable statement, you have to put a semicolon at the end. You save this file and then you click on build and run, right? And you would see that the output is generated for you, which is A plus B is equal to 25, right? So the value in A is five, the value in B is 20. And you know, if you add five and 20, then you get 25. And if you, you know, ever feel like changing these values to obtain a different result, then that's, you know, very easy to do because 
uh, you know all you have to do is change 5 to you know let's change 5 to 120 right and let's change B to uh, 220 so what is the result now you know let's check it out it has to be 340 if my mathematics is not screwed up so there you go you see new result this time which is a plus b is equal to 340 and i'll press the key to close that window and i'll go through this program one more time with you guys right so you know we have created two variables in this program and both are integers we've assigned values to them using the you know equal to or the assignment operator and then we've used a printf function to display a string of text on screen first and then we've used the percentage d format specifier to instruct the printf function that the value that we have to display has to be displayed in place of you know uh, percentage d so this percentage d thing is going to be replaced by the actual value of the addition operation which is computed by a plus b and that has to be outside the quotation marks and uh, you know since it's also an argument and it has to be passed to the function printf we put a comma symbol between the two things right and all these statements are executable statements so we put semicolon at the end of all the statements right so there you go this program um, you know is really very simple it does something really very simple and you know maybe let me talk about this too in this uh, tutorial if suppose you want to display the you know uh, result of the subtraction operation instead of the addition operation then all you have to do is you know, let me change the value of a to something bigger than b let me change this to 320 instead okay let b be 220 and let a be 320 and if i want to know what the result of a minus b is then i just have to you know, let me change this first i just have to change the addition symbol here to the subtraction symbol right so instead of using the addition operator now i'm using the subtraction operator save the file and i'll click on build and run and you would see that the result of a minus b is 100 right so 320 minus 220 is 100 so we have not just talked about variables in this uh, tutorial we've also talked about two arithmetic operators the first one is the you know addition operator and the second one is the subtraction operator and of course we've also seen the you know assignment operator or the equal to symbol right so there you go that's all i wanted to talk about in this tutorial we're going to discuss something interesting in the next tutorial so stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, take care you guys